Let's go to the audio sound bites. We've got to go back. I don't know how this happened. C-SPAN took a call today on their Washington Journal from a guy in New York, upset about something I said three years ago. Let's go back. It's, it's, it's almost exactly three years ago. June 16th, 2010. Now, at the time, folks, there was panic in the drive-by media over what kids were going to do to eat since the schools were closing for the summer and school breakfast was a big deal and school lunch was a big deal and the media was worrying, well, where will the kids of America go to eat? And uh, and I, always interested in public service, decided to offer some solutions. One of the benefits of school being out and in addition to your kids losing weight because they're starving to death out there because there's no school meal being provided. One of the benefits of school being out, college camp high being vacant this time of year, is that our audience levels go up. And you know what we're going to do here? We're going to start a feature on this program, Where to Find Food. For young demographics, where to find food. Now that school is out, where to find food. We can have a daily feature on this. And this will take us all the way through the summer. Where to find food. And, of course, the first will be try your house. It's a thing called the refrigerator. You probably already know about it. Try looking there. There are also things in what's called the kitchen of your house called cupboards. And in those cupboards, most likely, you're going to find ding-dongs, Twinkies, Lay's Ridgy potato chips, all kinds of dip, and maybe a can of corn that you don't want. But it will be there. If that doesn't work, try a Happy Meal at McDonald's. You know where McDonald's is. There's the dollar menu at McDonald's. And if they don't have Chicken McNuggets, dial 911 and ask for Obama. There's another place, if none of these options work, to find food, there's always the neighborhood dumpster. Now, you might find competition with homeless people there, but there are videos that have been produced to show you how to healthfully dine and how to dumpster dive and survive until school kicks back up in August. So there you have it. Three years ago here on this program, public service trying to detect or inform the kids of America where to go find food since there wasn't any at school. Well, I don't know. (laughs) I don't know why or how, but on C-SPAN today, Washington Journal, during a viewer call in, some guy, George from New York, called in to talk about what you just heard. We have millions of people listening to Rush Limbaugh who says, if you can't feed your children, first thing they should do is go home and see if there's something in the refrigerator. It's not up to the schools to feed them. Their parents should be feeding them. And if they can't feed them, then they can try a dumpster dive. Now, we have millions of people listening to that, and they believe that this is what you should do. If a child is hungry, they should go to a dumpster and find their food. I mean, this is what we've come to. Talk about unempathetic. And when we can give these huge, huge tax breaks to oil companies, and all these in agriculture, big ag, and I'm not knocking a small farmer, but the big ag, and our money flies in so many other directions. But when it comes time to feed the children, they should have to eat out of a dumpster. This is what we've come to. And that, folks, is quintessential low-information voter. This guy has been holding on to this for three years He'd been calling C-SPAN for three years to comment on this. He finally got through today. George from New York. This is it. This is low information. Obviously, a liberal low information voter. And note that this guy was even upset. It was unempathetic for me to suggest the refrigerator. He mentioned that first. First thing they should do is go home and see if there's something in the fridge not up to the schools to feed him. He was outraged by that. The fact that I would say that means I don't have any empathy, which means I can't put myself in these kids' place. And then to suggest they go dumpster to folks, we have played on my TV show excerpts of the dumpster dining video. There was one, and it was put out by a homeless guy in California, and it was all about how to dumpster dive and get food out of there that's not going to kill you. Or uh, make you... Yeah, it's true, Rachel. It's true, Rachel. Not, 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 I don't make up anything here. Not not necessary. So anyway, I thought I was kind of for three years this guy has been waiting 
trying to get through to C-SPAN. From NBC Sports, in response to the criticisms arising from the